Hey, I'm Brian with HVAC School and HVACRschool.com, the HVAC School podcast. Making this video today in conjunction with TrueTechTools.com. I work with them and deal with a lot of their Testo tools. And so today we're going to talk about the 770-3 and specifically how you can use the 770-3 to measure wattage or power directly. You don't have to do any math. You can use it directly on the meter and measure the actual power consumed. So before we do anything else, before I take the panels off, I'm going to shut off the disconnect because it's a safety best practice to have power off when you're pulling a panel in case anything's loose in there you don't want it to come off and shock you. So we're going to pull the disconnect. Even though we're actually doing a powered, run, uh, a powered test, this test we're going to do actually with the power running, when you're taking the panels off, it's best if possible to do that with the high voltage power turned off. All right, so with the 770-3, um, it will actually go, the power will go off if it's on any of these settings, and then you just have to sh shut it off and then turn it back on in order to read. So if I was gonna read amperage mode, I would just put it on A. If I was gonna read voltage, I would put it on V and then use my probes. It's pretty standard stuff. But if I wanna measure power, I take it all the way up to W. And in order to measure power, I have to take an amperage with the amp clamp, and I have to read the voltage simultaneously. So I'm gonna show you how that's done. Because I want to measure the power coming into the entire device, I'm putting it over one of the main power leads going line into the unit. So that's why, I'm, that's why I'm here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out these probes with some alligator clip probes just to make it a little easier to read. So connecting black to the common side on the left, connecting red to the right side. Now I have the power off and that makes this a little bit safer to do. I'm going to take one side. Make sure that I get it on a good solid connection. I just want to make sure that it's not gonna it's not gonna come off. It's nice and tight. All right. So now we are ready to read. And so if you look at this display right now, our power factor is at one. That's a unity power factor, and that's, at, that's what you're looking for. Whenever you have a motor load running, the closer that it is to one, the better. So if it was 0.95, that would be real common. 0.94, 0.93 uh, would be very common. But if you got down in below 0.9, that would be a poor power factor, which means that your power is out of phase. Um, which is created by the actual inductive load. That's due to an inefficiency in the, in the motor capacitor balance. But at this point, we're going to go ahead and look and see what our, what our total wattage of this system is. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the disconnect. All right, so now you can see I'm on, I have it set to amp mode first just to show you the amperage, which is 20.7 running amps. If we go to voltage, Our voltage is 213 volts. This is a commercial building. This is at our shop, and so it's 208 power. And now if we take it up to wattage, it's going to also factor in power factor and give us our total system wattage. Yet it does take a second to, to read. All right, so you can see right now the system is running 4.5 kilowatts. That's 4,572. We're very close to unity uh, power factor on this, which is good means that the system is working properly. And if you do the math with the amperage that we were getting before, uh, with, this, uh, with this power factor and this wattage, you're, you're gonna see that the math works out because volts times amps equals watts, that's watts law. So 21 times 212, let me go ahead and just grab a calculator. 21 times 212 equals 4,452, 4, that's 4.45 kilowatts, which is about exactly what we were reading. Now one thing you will notice is that it is very sensitive to the positioning of the clamp. So the position of the clamp really needs to be by the wire that you're reading and you want to try to isolate it a little bit from the wires around it if possible and it does take it a second to, to start to read. There we go. This system is running good power factor, very close to one. 
and the kilowatts are matching up with our amperage and wattage, so we can use this now. If we wanted to actually calculate the EER of our system, we could figure out our BTUs and our wattage and use those to calculate our EER. It's a nice feature that the Testo 773 has that most meters do not have, and uh, it's nice to be able to use this in order to actually prove the amount of power that a system is consuming. Not just the wattage and voltage, but also being able to calculate the power factor. As with all of the high quality Testo products, you can find them by going to truetechtools.com. Use the offer code GETSCHOOLED for a great discount at checkout. Thank you for watching.